Hello Robot is the story of how we humans interact and relate to robots, this other species really. And we tell this story step by step, and as we get closer, the visitor will find 14 questions. Those are questions that I suppose, or we suppose, just uh, triggers every day. If we open up the newspaper, it's about, you know, do robots replace our jobs? And it's very much about how, what kind of relation do we build with this kind of new species? And this is how we, within four chapters, try to, you know, how does this relation get kind of closer? So what we found really early on in the process as curators, we realized that this did, the whole discourse is really ambivalent and contradictory. Um, either there's a lot of excitement, yes, it's going to save the world, or it's, there's a lot of fear, you know, doomsday, we're going to end and the world's going to end and robots are going to take over. The truth is that it's both. So this is something that really guides us through this exhibition. Um, the notion and the realization that robots are both. They're a reason to be very excited and at the same time, they are a reason to be worried about. And I think this is very important for people to realize that both extremes are possible at the same time. In the first room, it's like that we see how would we look at uh, robots from, you know, from outside, if this really is a new species. So this is why this room looks like a, a cabinet of wonder. Our ideas about robots are so, you know, built by our experiences through uh, literature, through film, theater. This is how the, the image of robots are created. And uh, in this room, we sort of start to before we can talk about the current, how do robots come into our lives, it's more what is our idea about robots. The second room is very much what is out in the media currently. How do we relate to robots in the work sphere? And uh, I think this is not just that it, it also creates a lot of fear and we just also want to show, you know, what kind of opportunities there are. You know, what about robots and creativity? What about our own new labor uh, opportunities? And we juxtaposition this in a way, like, it, it looks basically like a manufacturing hall that we place the, the objects and we try to give kind of an idea how this transformation also opened up new opportunities for us. The third room is kind of like a face-to-face -face, uh, approach. Where do we actually uh, experience those little technology helpers? So it's, uh, and also how we actually start to get, depend on these uh, technology. Starts with the smartphone and all these kind of devices, but also in the whole healthcare system. And this shows quite a few of these possibilities. The fourth room is about the melting together of men and humans, uh, in a way, in, in terms of uh, prothesis, it's like implantations of technology in human bodies. Uh, it's about new kind of housing, uh, so that we actually live inside the machine, or if the house itself becomes uh, an autonomous uh, entity. And of course, you can think this bigger as a city as well, permanently collecting data uh, and making use of them. So what we found in our research as curators, really, as we're waiting for the robot, the humanoid that you know, looks like us and acts like us and walks like us, um, really, we already live in a robotic environment. We live in robots already. Um, and while there's no one definition of a robot, uh, what they all have in common is that, one, they have sensors, so that's tools that gather, that gather data. Two, they have intelligence, that is software that interprets the data. And three, actuators. So again, tools and apparatus that create or generate a physical reaction to the, gen to the collected data. For example, sound or light or movement or whatsoever. So the robot does not need one single body as we do. Any house, any environment, any city can become a robot and already is a robot. Because with the data sphere and the infosphere that we already uh, live in today, we could you know, easily say that is a robotic system already. And I think rather than waiting for the humanoid to destroy us or not, we should be discussing the repercussions of this fact that we're already living in this robotic environment and what does it mean to us and how do we want to deal with the fact that our environment become ever smarter, ever more autonomous and ever more self-learning. What do we want to do about this? This is really the question that, that we found to be most interesting in the, in the end.